Hey everyone, it's Adam with UploadWP.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to change featured products and recent products uh, to say something else for the Wootique theme. Uh, this was a question that was brought up by Dennis uh, out on UploadWP.com. He posted a comment asking uh, how do you change uh, this featured products and recent products right here on the home page of Wootique to something else and he's using a child theme so I'm going to show you how to do that right now on our demo site. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and just log into the WordPress admin. And I'm going to go to Appearance and, and then Editor. And you can see right now that I'm using uh, the Wootique Child theme is activated. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and change this to Wootique and then select. And what we need to do uh, under Templates over here, we need to find um, index.php, uh, which is the home page. So there it is, main index template, index.php. And go ahead and open that up. Once that opens, I'm just going to go ahead and highlight everything and I'm going to copy it all. And then I'm going to open up Notepad. And in Notepad, I'm just going to go ahead and paste it. And then I'm going to save it as exactly what it says here, so index.php. We're going to save it as index.php. So let's go ahead and save as. Alright, so I'll save it as index.php alright so now that that's saved what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up FileZilla or whatever FTP client you use and I'm going to go ahead and connect and then I'm going to go find my site public HTML alright there's my site right here slider demo I open that up then once I'm in there I'm going to go to WP content I'm going to go to themes and then I'm going to find my child theme uh, so in this case it's the Wootique child theme and I'm going to take that newly created index.php and I'm going to drag it and drop it into Wootique child theme alright so now I'm going to go back into the WordPress admin and I'm going to go to Wootique child theme and select that. All right, so now we have our um, Wootique child theme activated, um, and I'm going to click on uh, main index template index.php that we just uploaded. Okay, so here it is. So I'm going to scroll down until I find featured products, which it's right here and I'm going to change that to anything else that I want. So maybe instead of featured products you want it to say um, featured items. I don't know, I could say whatever you want, but uh, in this case we'll say featured items. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to update that file. See the file's been updated and again we're doing this within our child theme which ensures that we're not going to lose any of these customizations when we upgrade to the latest version of this theme. So now if we go out to the site and I refresh the page, this will change to featured items. There you go, so now it says featured items. And we can do the exact same thing with featured products. Alright, so let's look for, again, staying within our child theme. Now that we have this index.php file in our child theme, we're going to just search for uh, fe um, this one that says recent products. So if I scroll down a little bit further, we'll find, uh, you'll see recent products right here. Alright, so we can change that to some, whatever else you want it to say. So in this case, we'll just say recent items and update that file. All right. once the file has been updated I'm going to go ahead and refresh this and this will change to recent items it says recent items so that's how you change um, the featured products and, fe and recent items on the home page of the Wootique theme using a child theme uh, which again ensures that these customizations are not overridden when you upgrade to the latest version of Wootique so hopefully this is helpful uh, for more WooCommerce tutorials check out uploadwp.com thanks for watching